All right. Hey, folks. Now, I don't normally do reaction videos. <laughs> I think it's quite lazy content, so I try and stay away from them. But I will do a reaction video if I feel that there's a greater lesson involved. And that's what I want to do today. So Mike Isretel made a video recently where he was discussing the idea of taking four weeks off trading potentially every year. And I think there are some lessons, some greater lessons in that video, which I think are things that I want to highlight. Not necessarily to do with time off the gym, but actually more of the lessons I've learned from just watching that video. And I did watch it. I think it's quite lazy content to uh, react to a title. It was a long video. I forced myself to watch it. Now, I want to start from the end, right at the end, 44 minutes into the video. Mike goes on to say, if you've truly exhausted yourself, if you've been fighting your demons for months and months on end, physically and mentally, and I think that's probably something which should have gone at the beginning of the video because it's not going to represent the majority of people watching the video. I think this video was really more of a reflection on his own emotionality and disappointment in his bodybuilding career. He's expressed quite a lot of frustration recently in terms of how his placements and his bodybuilding condition has gone on stage. To the point where he's even said recently that he's retiring from bodybuilding altogether, competitive bodybuilding. And we have seen Mike become increasingly unhinged over the course of the last six months in various interviews and things. Like I'll read a comment when I'm on plenty of shit and it's as usual, a highly disrespectful comment on Instagram. Mm -hmm. And I want, I fantasize about meeting that person in real life, <laughs> walking up to them in the gym way too close to their face and be like, say something, you fucking pussy, say it say it and watch them cower and just relish as they cower. And then as they cower away, hurt them physically. <laughs> so yeah, pretty extreme. I was pretty shocked when I saw that. I don't know about you guys. I don't know if you guys thought it was funny or, or whatever. In my experience in life, the things that people say in public, like the controversial, outrageous things that people say, they generally are the tip of the iceberg. So if he's saying stuff like that on camera, in public and laughing and joking about it, it worries me for what else is going on behind the scenes, things we can't see. That's, it's an insight. So anyway, the first point is Mike is not above making hyper specific videos, which represent his situation and passing them off as advice for all of you guys. We saw from his now removed video on nootropics of brain health. He does not mind giving out very hyper specific advice and recommendations and trying to apply them to the entirety of the YouTube space. So the first lesson is not everything is applicable to you. And in this case, some of Mike's recent videos have been very hyper specific to his situation. Okay. So I'm going to go through just quickly some of the points he raised in the video, and I want to just give you my feedback. And then I want to end with some lessons we can learn from this video. If, if you just want to skip to the lessons, there's timestamps, so feel free. But I thought if I'm doing a reaction video, it's important to at least recognize and acknowledge the points he makes. So first of all, he mentions joint management. I've got to say, this is not something I personally experienced four weeks off the gym to manage your joints and tendons and things. That is a lot. The most I've ever taken is two weeks. I remember taking two weeks um, in 2017. So I had some issues with my, uh, my right knee and also my left chest and took a couple weeks off, felt fresh as a daisy, but that was, I was feeling very beat up. Now, what I will say with this is just to help you understand why he might be saying four weeks and a guy like me, who's also about his age, pretty jacked, is saying two weeks is a max. The reason that he might be more likely to take four weeks off, you got to remember two things. He promotes pretty high volumes and he's on PEDS. So the PEDS will increase the strength of your muscles and the recovery of your muscles but don't necessarily do a great deal for the recovery of your connective tissues. So that's where you get an imbalance. And yeah, he may well be hurting. So he may need that time off for sure. And on top of that, you compound that with high volumes, which I know he recommends. I don't know what he does personally, but you can see a situation where sure in that hyper specific situation of older Jack guy doing a lot of volume on a lot of drugs, he might need four weeks. Sure. But is that applicable for you guys? Yeah, I don't know about that. The next thing he mentioned was systemic factors. Again, I've never seen any benefit past two weeks. Now, admittedly, I never tested my hormones. So when I did take those two weeks off in 2017, I didn't do a testosterone test before and after. So 
who knows? But I know when I'm feeling better. I think some of this is hyper specific to his situation. The next thing he mentioned was resensitization. I don't really think this is a thing. I think rather it's just the case of your muscles will lose fullness when you stop training and rapidly regain fullness when you begin training. That's what it is. The larger you get, the more this effect comes into play. Like I know for me, when I'm really depleted, my muscles will <laughs> visibly look smaller. Like it's crazy. The bigger you get, the more you will see this. As a beginner, you can't really see depletion. The larger you get, the more you will see the flatness. So yeah, he may well think when you're coming back to the gym, resensitization happens. But I don't think you reach a new level. I think all that happens is you get that fullness back in your muscles. The next bit, he talked about what to do during your time off. I think this was actually very sensible advice. He mentioned doing another activity, which is a good idea. Stay active. I'm going to Thailand soon for a holiday. I'm, I probably will take some time off the gym because I'm feeling pretty beat up at the moment. And I was thinking I might, since I'm out there, do some Thai boxing or some Mai Thai. That'd be fun. So yeah, I think that's a sensible suggestion. Sure. However, knowing me, <laughs> I probably won't manage two weeks. The next thing he talks about is what to do with your gear and your TRT. This also makes me think that this is more of a self-gratifying video, not a video for the YouTube audience. Um, it's very specific to him. And again, he mentioned recently on his um, Instagram channel, he's coming off all gear, going on to TRT. So it's, it just adds to that narrative that this is something which he's doing to justify his next few months. He mentions a bit about how to come back from a four weeks off. And he talks about coming back uh, slowly. Yeah, I think four weeks is a long time. So yeah, probably you are going to have to come back extra slow. I took, I think it was, actually, no, tell a lie. The last time I took two weeks off the gym was Bulgaria. Yeah. So I visited Bulgaria about two years ago, I think, three years ago. Lovely place, great people, beautiful country. But unfortunately, I got uh, food poisoning when I was out there. Now, as a result, I ended up taking off, I think, 14, 16 days from the gym. But when I came back, I came back just as strong. I, I remember doing more reps on a one-arm row set on my first day back at the gym. Four weeks, however, that's a longer time. Also, if you were on a lot of gear and you're coming down to TRT, one would think maybe that's why he's saying to come back extra slowly. Part of me just thinks this video he made was a, a playlist for his plan rather than anything which is useful for any of you guys. So anyway, to conclude, I wanted to keep this one quite short. To conclude, I think there's three main lessons we can learn from this. First of all, <laughs> don't do drugs. I would say at the very least, don't do them if you either don't know what you're doing or you're mentally unstable. Just too many issues involved. Second thing is understand as a audience, understand that not all advice is for you. And also understand that not all content creators will understand audience specific needs. Okay. Some content creators will make hyper specific content and say, this is advice for you. That's, that's very different to saying, look, this is what I'm doing. Okay. That's very different. There's two ways of presenting it. I think in this video it was presented in a way to say, this is what you should all consider to do once a year. I don't think that's particularly sensible. The very small caveat he gave at the end, I think should have been given at the beginning, but there you go. So as an audience, just understand not all advice is going to be for you. And some of it is compounded by how advanced people are, how big people are, individuality and drugs. Yeah. And the third thing to bear in mind from this video is you may well need breaks. You might, but your breaks should be done by your experimentation on yourself. I'm a fan of deloads, but why am I a fan of deloads? Because I experimented with deloads in 2002 when Dan John suggested this was a good idea. So I implemented them and I experimented on myself and I realized I was getting better results. So you don't need anybody's permission to experiment with a week off, two weeks off, whatever. Experiment, try it. Equally speaking, you don't have to. It's your body. It's not mine. It's not Mike's. You do not need permission to do anything. Experiment, log your workouts, log your thoughts, log the results, and go from there. Okay. So yeah, just a quick one today. Um, I thought that video was worth making and um, hopefully you found it useful. You know, as I say, this video is for you. This is specific to my audience. Um, and I wanted to be able to give you some information on that. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to call it there. You guys have a great week and I'll speak to you in the next one.